Uh, Fernando, just let's first before we move on to UCF yeah, talk about Saturday's game. How well do you guys think you played up front, and how good was that to see? Um, it was, you know, what we've been expecting since uh, camp and everything. Um, we definitely turned it up a notch, and uh, after the our last week before that and our performance, we weren't very happy with our we weren't really happy with our performance. So we knew that we had to make a change, and I think we did that last Saturday. What's it like when you, you see Keaton break one and he gets right through the line of scrimmage, and, and you're still on your block? And it's you see the most. Him, he's like he's like thirty yards ahead of you. Yeah, it's the most exciting thing. I love running down there, throwing him up in the end zone afterwards. But yeah, seeing him run down the field is a great feeling. Obviously, he gets a lot of attention, but what does it mean to you guys when he gives the O-line a shout-out after the game? Because you guys are the ones up in the holster. Yeah, it, it does mean a lot because, um, you know, sometimes we can get forgotten about, but um, unless we mess up, of course, and then <laughs> then everyone knows it was our fault. But, um, yeah, it's nice. I mean, we all appreciate each other and appreciate the work we put in because, I mean, if he wasn't as fast and as skilled and talented as he was, then we'd still be – you know, inching along down the field. But those big plays make a big difference in the game. So what's the big thing that you guys are doing different now and you, that you feel like maybe that you weren't doing as much before? Um, I guess it would be, uh, you know, setting the standard in practice, you know, um, you know, focusing on the little things and working on our fundamentals and understanding that it's a mindset that we need to change in our culture and um, practicing how we want to play. How do you balance that? Because, I mean, it is a long season. You don't want to kill yourself in practice, but you want to set the tone. So is there a balance being physical, setting that mindset in practice, but not, like, going too far? Yeah, so practice for us is broken down. Like, we have individual and then we have team. So during Indy, you kind of slow down a little bit. But, you you know, you take those first three steps uh, full speed and you're going uh, as hard as you can and because that's how you want to come off the ball. But um, we're not, like, banging each other all the time. But then we have, you know, racks of six or 12 that we're going uh, with the like good on good or with the scout. And that's when we, um, uh, I guess, that's when we get better right there. When you, got, when you go from left guard to right guard, what's the biggest difference for you a little bit on playing on that different side of the – There's really not that much of a difference to me. I know everyone keeps asking me that. Um, I don't really have too much of a preference. Um, I guess the only difference would be is like who I'm communicating with. Because um, I mean, when I'm on the left side, I'm not talking to the right tackle. But that's pretty much it. UCF, they seem like they're pretty good up front. Uh, what, what catches your attention on film? Um, well, they are pretty good up front for sure. Uh, they're strong, they're fast, and they're they're a veteran group. And um, I'm excited to play against them this Saturday. You talked last week about coming together as a unit, having that cohesion, all five of you working together. I mean, coach said you guys did that this week. What did you see when you looked at, look back at this past week's game? Um, looking back on film, uh, you definitely can see that we definitely had a lot more communication and that we worked well together. I mean, we got movement, we were moving people off the ball, we were getting to the next level, and you could see that with the big plays. And um, when, you know, when you see Olam get to the next level, that's usually when you see a big run by Keaton or Rajay. UCF kind of took it to you guys last year, not necessarily the big guys, well, UCF's a good team, and they've been a good team for a while now. Um, so we, we really got to bring our A game and just keep getting better throughout the year. And I think that's what we have. We have a bunch of guys who love playing football, who believe in the process and trust our coaches. And I think when we do that, just like Saturday, we're going to go out there and we're going to do what we have to do. This will probably be the, the loudest environment on the road you guys face this year. What challenge does that create for an offense? Um... I guess it just being loud, I don't know. Because when you're out there, it, it's not as loud as everyone makes it seems out to be. So, actually, I think during the COVID year and not having anyone out there, it was louder because you could hear more. And it sounds weird to say that, but really it was, it was just different. So, like, when there is a big crowd, um, home or away, it actually feeds into the game. Your keys to victory this week a little bit, if anything. Communication. Um, practice uh, and just come in every day to get better at something.